Hi guys, so um, Six Nations View from a Sick Bed, episode two, so week four. Um, I know I didn't do one for the first two weeks, but this is basically, I'm just going to do my predictions for the games coming up this weekend. Um, so obviously we've got England, France first up. Um, I think, uh, Mum could have another one, sorry. Um, I think uh the changes that um england have although not many of them i think will make a big difference i think having someone like elliot daly who can smash over a penalty from you know 55 60 meters um can make a big difference not to mention having anthony watson at fullback and just the the pace of that back three i think is really going to um going to be a lot for the french to have to compete with um, it will be interesting to see the scrums, um, to see whether England can uh, can hold their scrums firm and actually try and dominate the French pack. I know Nathan Hughes came out this week and talked about um, attacking the mobility of the French. Um, but when you've got a guy like Mathieu Bastereau in the in in the centres, um, uh, it's quite. I think it was probably the right right option to go with Benny Teo to to try and counter the physicality of Bastereau. I think that will be a really interesting matchup um, to see those two facing off. Um, England need to do better at the breakdown. It's as simple as that. If they don't get on top of their breakdowns and, and stop people from getting isolated, then they, they're not going to win the game. It's as simple as that. They'll give away penalties. Um, that's a massive thing they've got to cut down on. 17 penalties last week, last um, match. Um, against the Scots just too many way too many you can't win a game with that many penalties against you um, the French I think will try will try and um, try and use their physicality um, and try and dominate physically um, whether that works or not I'm not too sure um, I think obviously that having their, their front row is, is quality but I actually think the change and having Jamie George in at hooker will make a big difference as far as um a bit more positive energy um, from the start. Hopefully, he can get his throws right um, because the odd chance that he's had to start, I think his throws have been a bit off. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be a really interesting game, and my prediction is England to win by 10 points or 10 to 15 points um, will be my prediction. Um, I'm not sure whether it will be the highest scoring game, it could be quite a low scoring game, but. Um, I, I'm i sticking with, I, a lot of people will say I'm biased, but I genuinely think, um, trying to be impartial, I think England will just have too much for the French. Um, we never know what we're going to get with the French though, so they could prove me wrong, they could turn up and play the best game of their their lives. Um, but I actually think not having Teddy Toma on, on a wing um, will make a big difference because he's been their difference maker in the past. So um, I know they didn't have him last week, uh, but it's just um, I, I, I think England, England will be really looking to improve from last week and will be back with a vengeance so um, yeah looking at that game 10 to 15 points England um, Scotland Ireland massive game massive absolutely massive game um, Ireland, Gary Ringrose back in the fold. Really like him as a player. I think he he adds a bit of um, wow factor to uh, to everything he does. Um, Scotland obviously on a massive high after the win in the Calcutta Cup last week, uh, two weeks ago. Um, so you know it's going to be very interesting. I still think that. Um, the Irish will have too much for the Scots. I think that, again, that um, tandem of of Sexton and and Murray will just be um, too much for them to to be able to to handle. Um, I think uh, Ireland, Ireland also have the better pack, so I think they'll get dominance in that. Their lineouts being great. I can see them stealing a few of the Scots lineouts. Um, 
turnover masters the Irish. The Scots were really good last weekend, but I think they'll be given a a, a real lesson by by the Irish. Um, I can see that being um, 15 points to Ireland. That um, so yeah, I think. Um, Uh, I'm not going to put. I don't. I. I'm sure it will be a pretty high-scoring game, and I. I think there is something to be said for for Hugh Jones on the Scots, the Scots team. This guy is just incredible. He he seems to be able to create something out of nothing pretty much every weekend, um, and he just has a bit of an X factor that I think um, no one else in that Irish lineup in that Scottish lineup has, and I think that. Is the issue um, Stuart Hogg obviously always always good, but him going up against Rob Carney is again a very very interesting prospect. Um, and then I think um, that's about it as far as like matchups that will be interesting. I don't I think Keith Earls um, and um, Stockdale are better than both Scottish wingers. Um, I think that. Um, Sexton just has a, a a complete separation from Finn Russell and Murray is just so as I've said before I'm I'm not the biggest advocate of, of Greg Gladelaw and I think it's because he can't keep up with most nines um, I think the only thing that really keeps him in his squad is, is the kicking game so is the kicking off the tee so um, he's obviously a reliable goal kicker. I think that is the only reason he's kept in the Scotland squad. So, yeah, um, Irish going to win that, in my opinion, 15 points, maybe maybe a bit less, but I'm, I'm going to go big and say 15 points. Wales, Italy, um, Toby Faletau returning to the starting lineup and captaining. Um, the Welsh very obviously changing their team, putting up, fielding a, uh, a weaker side. Um, I think I think it can be seen as a bit disrespectful towards the Italians to be honest but um, I'm sure the Italians will try their best to try and make them regret putting out a weaker side but um, George North back in the team again always plays well for Wales um, Liam Williams at fullback a uh, starting line so yeah again I just think it will be a, I think it will be a blowout. Um I'm going to say again 15 20 points to um Wales to win by so um I think they will do a number on Italy. Um roll them over. Italy again just don't have the quality coming off the bench. Um they're for sure improving every year but it's not at a quick enough pace. Um I really like um Tommy Allen at, at 10. Um, I also like their fullback. Um, I can't remember his name. The the um, this smallest guy in the championship, I think. Um, or yeah, I think so. I think he's even smaller than Danny Kerr. Um, so yeah, I, I think they will um, they will provide um, an entertaining prospect, but. I think it could be one of those ones where just Wales just walk away with it. So um, I'd expect George North to get on the scoreboard. I expect Liam Williams to get on the scoreboard. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Falatau got on the scoreboard as well. So um, be very interesting to see. I think the Welsh pack um, will probably roll over the the Italians and the Italians will blow out after uh, after 60 70 minutes so um, they'll lose it after that so um, yeah I'm going to say again uh, 15 to 20 points on that so um, those are my predictions I'm actually missing the games I'm going to I've got them recording because I'm, I'm going to the theatre I'm going to watch them when I get back tonight watch them tomorrow um, and then I will put out my verdict episode on Monday. So, yeah, if you could like, share and subscribe, that would be great. Um, yeah, Six Nations view from sickbed. Cool. Episode next Monday.